The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to him, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. They drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. This is the good news of our salvation. There is a difference between the ministry of John the Baptizer and that of Jesus. We have already seen in the Gospel of St. Mark that Jesus drove out demons and then he cured. But he also formed a community, a community of twelve. There is no evidence that John the Baptizer formed a community, especially with the number 12 special disciples who were called apostles. Now the word in Greek, apostle, apostoline means to send. And here we have again the mission of Jesus in his public life public ministry, and in his church. So he joined these special chosen few to be the inner circle. And within that inner circle, he also had Peter, James, and John. But he was forming them. Earlier in the Gospel, at the very beginning of the Gospel of St. Mark, Jesus is walking along the shore and he calls Peter and Andrew, James and John, sons of Zebedee, and gave them the exhortation, you will become fishers of men. They did not join him, he called them. At the Last Supper he will remind his inner group that you did not choose me, but I chose you. And I want you to go forth to bear fruit, the fruit that will remain. And so we have this dynamism, Jesus coming to where we are, to take us <clears throat> to where he is, so that we, with the blessing of Jesus, the presence of Jesus, can bring his message to others. It is in this context that we have today's gospel. In modern pedagogical formation, education, we have practice teaching. And when persons are taking programs in education to become teachers, part of those programs is to have practice teaching go into the classroom <clears throat> and put into practice what you learned from the lectures of your 
teachers who are forming you to become teachers yourself. Jesus followed that pedagogy 2,000 years ago. He had his disciples assist him, travel with him, listen to him, see him, the way he acted, and the way he taught, the way he spoke. Now they would go forth, two by two, not alone, to share what they had learned and to practice what they were taught. It is an example that Jesus wants us to imitate in our own vocation because we are like the disciples who became apostles, the evangelized who should become evangelizers in the, own, in the very context of our own vocation. We should discern from Jesus what he wants us to do and learn from him how to do it. He has come to us where we are in order to take us to where he is so that both of us can bring his love to others. This is the real meaning of being a member of a Christian family, a Christian community, in a word, a member of the church.